Today I'm going to show some of the final areas of organization. I think I'm reaching the end of this <laughs> uh, major impromptu art room makeover. I didn't intend for all this to happen, but it's good that it did. I'm very happy with my space now. And I think the last video I'll do in this series will be another overview. I did the, the first overview, but as I've worked on the different sections and filmed them, I've made changes. So I'll do a final overview. But today, let's look at my workspace. I have always called my art room my art room and not my studio because I've never done a whole lot of actual working in here because I don't have the room. And I know you want to stick a fork in my eye every time you hear me say, I don't have enough room. I do realize I am extremely blessed with the space that I have and, and that, you know, most of us, we don't have a lot of space to work in. I have done the tiny table in the corner of my bedroom thing. I've been there. I have done that. I feel your pain. Trust me on that. <laughs> so yes, I, I do feel very fortunate to have a dedicated space, but you know, we're never happy. It, it's human nature. We always want more, um, so I need to remind myself to stop complaining and just be grateful. What was I even saying? Oh yes, <laughs> I don't have enough space to work in my dedicated art room, poor me. Okay, not a big deal. I work all over the house anyway. I'm perfectly comfortable doing that, but I think the reason that I have never called this my studio is because I it wasn't my primary spot to do all of my creating. I can see that maybe changing now. That is the point that I'm getting to. I've got my workspace arranged in such a way now that I think it's going to actually be workable. So maybe this can actually be my studio. In my head, I've called it my studio a couple of times, so maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't matter. As long as you got some place to sit and do your thing, that's all that counts. Let me show you what I've done here, the changes that I've made here. Obviously, I cleaned it off. <laughs> I put some things away, things that had a home and weren't in it, and then other things that didn't have a home, I gave it to them. The biggest change is over here where my tools used to sit right here. And Okay, here's what happened. I My tools were in several little small you know, jars and, and cups and buckets and things like this that were just scattered about here and I was constantly knocking them off the edge because this, this is a shelf that goes in a closet is what this is and it was, it's narrow. So that wasn't working. I went into the attic room and I pulled out this bucket and which helped to corral some of the loose stuff and while I was up there, I found a nice large vase that I brought in here. I put my brushes I use most often, my pencils, my scissors, my bone folder, my pokey tool. You know, those things that you like to have at hand and, you know, right at your fingertips. It was looking great. And I went back into the attic for some other container for something. I can't even remember what. And I just had an epiphany. I started finding things that I had put away, wasn't using and I could see new uses for them. One was this little thing right here, which is actually a, um, you're supposed to mount it on your, like the inside of your cabinet so that you can hang kitchen towels from it. That's what it's for, that kind of thing. But I turned it this way, screwed it underneath my little shelf here, and it's perfect for my paper towel rolls. Okay, it's almost perfect for my paper towel rolls. Oh yeah, this is an integral part of the system. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I had this one here, but then every time I walked by it, one of my big hips snagged it and it would fall off. So yeah, I've been putting that there. Wedge them right there. There we have it. See when the paper towels in the kitchen, the rolls get down to about this big, I bring them up here. And then, you know, I don't know why, that's just what I do. But much better than these little rolls standing here, which is the way I used to have them, and they were constantly falling off. 
So that pleased me. I can hang my squirt bottle from it. Um, there's always a thing of water with a brush in it that's been there for weeks. It, um, bad. Yeah. Okay. So this was good. I was happy with that. I started looking at things with new eyes and, and trying to decide different ways to do things. So I found several of these, um, you know what I'm saying when I say under the shelf basket, those little wire baskets that, you know, hook onto a shelf so that they give you a little bit of space underneath the shelf. Okay, I found several of those that I wasn't using. Pulled them out, brought them in here. I put one of them right here under my little workspace. See, the other side of this thing has a ledge, this shelf. It has a, a ledge on the other end or a decorative piece of molding because that was the part of the shelf that was facing out. And then this flat part was up against the closet wall. You know, that's how it worked. I flipped it around and let's get a closer look. Okay, I attached, or actually I just taped. This is the under the shelf rack dealie. I just put some duct tape there so that it wouldn't slide around, put it here, and then I just happened to have this cardboard box that just happened to be the exact right size to fit on the shelf. I've got my ruler stuck in there too. And, oh, inside, this was the whole point that I wanted to show you. These are those, um, I have a bunch of those little boxes that Jason gave me. I showed them in the video where I showed the uh, tackle box that I used to store all my little bitties. Yeah. I opened a couple of them up and just kind of slid them together and they made perfect dividers. These were all of the things that I usually kept in buckets sitting on top of my work surface. Well now they're perfect. They're, you know, all I have to do is just, I'm sitting right here. Oh, and I put this little decorative knob on it. Slide it out. There, I've got it. Slide it back in. It's it's like the best thing ever, and I don't know why I didn't think of that eons ago. It never occurred to me to turn this shelf around so that that molding ledge was on the other side, and therefore making this a, a viable option for the under the shelf thing. Yeah, never occurred to me. Well, until yesterday, then I just did this, which makes me happy. It gives me more work surface on the top of my desk. It has all of my tools at hand. If something leaks, I get paint on it. It gets gross, whatever. So what? They're cardboard boxes. <laughs> it's not a big deal. But it has just made a huge impact. It really in my whole room. Because, you know, that, that one thing right there turned my art room into a studio basically is what I'm saying because it it that was the key in freeing up my workspace because I'm all about having stuff at my fingertips I really really like that I just didn't realize how much it was hindering my ability to function in here so that was my little epiphany I still got what I need right where I need it but I have much more room to work in fact I did I left this out because this was a little happy mail that I threw together last night and it really took me maybe 10 minutes. I went to one of my to be filed boxes, you know, because <laughs> I had some uh, pieces of paper left over from other projects that I tossed in there, pulled stuff out of there, glued it down, added a little color. I was done. It was great. So that's the true test. Yeah, the room looks nice, but how does it function? So far, it's functioning well. Okay, let me, um, I'll show you the next thing that I did with those same. Um, under the shelf thingies. I had several of them. The one I just showed you is a little bit wider than these over here. These were slightly more narrow and I wish they were wider because they won't hold like a 12 by 12 paper, but they will hold regular paper. Here's what I did. You see it's the same under the shelf rack. You can get these at Walmart. At um, I got mine actually on sale at the container store one time and their sale price was cheaper than Walmart's. So go figure. I used cable ties to secure them top and bottom because if you don't this kind of 
scooches out. Just cable ties. My whole room is held together with cable ties. That's how these wire racks are put together too. <laughs> but it works. And in this top one, I just it's on the side of this rack. And in there, I'm keeping cardboard scraps because I do frequently use those. That right there eliminated a container, a whole container, well, half of a container in my closet. And then down here, this is painted papers not painted by me. I've got these mostly in Happy Mail from other people. I've kept them separate from my own because I don't want to use them and, you know, claim them as my own. or I don't want to have people assume that they're mine. Um, so if I keep them separate, then when I use them, I can um, make a notation that, you know, they were a gift. So I put those there. I could easily find them. They were hiding in a pizza box behind some other stuff. Not convenient. I used one of my scraps of cardboard from above and put it behind here and then attached it to this bottom. See these, these bottom wires? Attached it with a cable tie so that it slides up and back. And that way it keeps the papers from you know how they will curve because they'll sag. That's what they'll do if you don't have something sturdy behind them. So that keeps them from sagging and it'll expand as the collection grows. And what is that called? Everybody now together, room to grow. There we go. <laughs> okay, I was going to save this one for the very end, but I can't not show you. So, okay, let's look at one more thing. This is the only closet in the room, and I think I showed it in the first video. I talked about how frustrating it is because the boxes are stacked so high and I couldn't get to stuff in the corner. I don't know if you can tell the difference at a glance, but major, major difference. Now, things are still stacked, but not frustratingly so. I'm not going to have boxes toppling over as I try to get to them. And look, you can see the floor. How weird is that? <laughs> I will show more detail and talk about that in more detail at the uh, in the last video, the wrap-up video. But let me just say that all it took, I know if you're thinking, well, where did all the stuff go? What did you do with all the stuff? All I had to do is change my way of thinking, and it just opened up all new storage possibilities. So there's the teaser for the final wrap-up video. Okay, you'll have to come back to hear about that. And for now, that's all I have. The end.